They call it wild ice. Untouched, raw. The first time I skated on it was right here in the Canadian Rockies. That first push, I felt like I could glide to infinity. The sun was on my face. The ice sounded like nothing I'd ever heard. And instead of bleachers, I was surrounded by the most beautiful mountains in the world. With Alberta's spectacular Rocky Mountains in my backyard, it goes without saying I'm here all the time. But I'm not just skating here, I'm eating. The national parks in Alberta's Rockies get over six million visitors every year. That's more than the Grand Canyon. With all those guests, hospitality is in our blood, and Jasper, Banff, and Canmore are home to some of the top restaurants in Canada. Today, I'm hanging up my skates and going on a different kind of adventure. I'm eating my way through the Rocky Mounds with some of the best dining Canada's Alberta has to offer. Incredible lake food in Jasper, award-winning pasta in Banff, and wood-fired delights in Canmore. I'm Alaj Balde, and this is my One Perfect Meal. My perfect meal starts in Jasper, a couple hours west of Edmonton. To get there, I'll hop on a VRL train so I can sit back and enjoy the view as rolling prairies give way to stunning mountain peaks. Jasper was founded as a railway town, but today it's the beating heart of Jasper National Park, the largest national park in the Canadian Rockies. Jasper has kept its small town character over the years, with charming shop-lined streets that will warm your heart, even in the winter. 10 minutes north of town on the shores of Pyramid Lake is my first course, Alto. Designed to bring the best of the lake indoors, Alto features gorgeous views, a toasty wood fire, and elevated lake food cuisine that will blow your mind. Alto is rated as Jasper's number one restaurant on TripAdvisor, and their use of lake-inspired seasonal ingredients means the menu always offers something new and unique. Like this creation that executive chef Thomas Writing has put together for me. Wow, 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 wow. It's our Arctic char with wow. kombucha squash and white bean miso sauce. Okay. So on the bottom of here, we have the uh, kombucha squash. We've deglazed that with a little bit of butter and miso as well. Uh, and then we have some beautiful um, nori uh, coral chips. Oh, uh, that's what side. it is. Yeah, that's, so that's okay, what that I was is, yeah. wondering. This looks absolutely incredible. Wow. Okay, I'm gonna add a little bit of that miso. Ooh, Chef Thomas. I see you. I see what you've done. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow, the miso mm -hmm. is so rich. Yeah, it gives it a lovely deep uh, earthy flavor. And mixed with the char, mm. it's such a beautiful combination. The idea of bringing the lake uh, yeah. into the restaurant. Lake food. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me more about what that means? Sure, so part of the idea was so many people come up to Pyramid Lake because um, it's such a beautiful area. How do we bring the elements of, of the lake inside to what we do? I think it's incredible, I think. And you can see, you can feel that um, that Pyramid Lake is Alto's muse. Yes, it's not just about uh, fine dining and a, and, a, and a beautiful restaurant. Even if you came to Pyramid Lake and went for a swim yeah, or a hike yeah. or you're out for a bike ride and then you come back and you want to come for uh, you know, some refreshments yeah. and, a, and a bite to eat, you can feel perfectly comfortable yeah, doing yeah. that. Should so it has a, that kind yeah. of like casualness to it, Completely. but also it can be elevated yeah. as well. But yeah. now tell me more uh, about the menu. We are uh, predominantly fish forward, and it's about having uh, ingredients on the menu that are familiar, but served in a, in a way that Different would way. be, maybe people stop and go, oh. In the winter time, we have nice warming dishes. We make uh, a beautiful split pea soup, served with a handmade lamb sausage. One of our most popular dishes uh, is our land and seaboard. There's a selection of uh, house cured charcuterie, uh, prosciutto duck, nuja sausage, we'll do dried elk sausages, uh, and then we'll have our own cured fish, pickles and chutneys, and we have our, our own uh, house made mustards. Uh, so it's a great board to get at the end of a hike. And then one of our signature dishes is our charred beet salad. 
And I think it's one that you can really like. Beats are, I mean, they're at the top for me. I absolutely love Beats. Well, I think we should get one ready for you so yeah? you can try it, yeah? Okay. This is our charred beet salad okay. with walnut foam. It's got two of Alberta's seven signature foods. Okay. Uh, charred are, beets. Okay. And in the uh, walnut foam, we use a little canola oil. I'm going to add some foam. Wow. 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 Um, dill. Mm -hmm. There's dill in this. Little dill, yeah. I love dill. Yeah. It's, it's, beets. You, you beets, gave me beets beet and, and you dill. gave me dill. Yeah, you know. It's... You made this for me. <laughs> this, <laughs> is, this is not what I would expect when I think of a beet salad. It's about having humble ingredients that are familiar and approachable, but but presenting but, but it presented in a slightly more obscure way. Yeah. I think it's uh, really well done. Thank you very much. Good job, chef. What would pair incredibly well with this dish would be one of our mocktails. Oh, I love mocktails. Here we wow. have our Aurora lemonade. Thank you. I'm excited to try it's it. It's wonderful. It matches the color of the beets. Wow. Wow. It's like not too sweet. It's like the perfect type of sweetness. Would you like to make one with me? Yeah. Like right now? Let's go. Okay, let's do it. So for the Aurora Lemonade, we're gonna start off with two ounces of our butterfly pea extract. You'll see it starts off with a really nice blue color. So we're gonna okay. pour that there. A Little bit of soda. Okay. We're gonna add the acidity. Okay. So we're actually gonna be changing the pH level. Oh, cool. I want you to stir it, and then you're gonna see that it's gonna change colors. Oh, wow. A dark purpley reddish tone that comes out. Wow, yeah, that's exactly. beautiful. Just like magic. Crossing fingers. Okay. Yeah? Yeah, yeah <laughs> okay. you know how to make a lemon. It's like, sometimes it can be like too sour, but yeah. this is... All right, so now I passed the test. Now it's your turn. I'm going to get you to make my favorite cocktail. Okay. <laughs> so it's the Ultra Fashion. Grab your handy dandy hands. Yep. yep. And then you're going to grab your queen cue. I'm going to try it with a different technique. I'm going to try it like this. Nope, I'm gonna use my hands. You got this. <laughs> Two ounces of our Rupert's whiskey. A great Canadian whiskey from Eau Claire Distillery in Turner Valley, Alberta. I wanna do the famous thing where you get. Wow. Ooh, it's you actually that? impressive. The butterfly pea syrup. Beautiful. And then we're gonna take our orange bitters. Okay. Three drops in there. Okay. I'm gonna give you a little bit of ice now. Okay. And then you're gonna take your spoon. This long one. So all the way around the edges of the mixing glass, yep. we're gonna take our strainer and we're gonna strain it to our box glass. Okay. Is, just put it Just put it down this. and then you almost wanna just like hold your finger, almost like yeah. a teapot. Let's do this. I'm gonna do it a fancy way too. Nope, nope, I'm gonna stay right here. Yeah, <laughs> see. It has like okay. a greenish tint to it. Kind of like, like water. That was the inspiration yeah. for yeah. the aesthetics it's of the beautiful. cocktail. Water needs fire. It does need fire. It does need Absolutely. fire. So this is a plaque of oak wood, and we're going to flame it and put it on the glass. It's gonna create the smoke, okay. All right, so I'm I'll take this. this for you. Beautiful. All right. Do we see, this is kind of ambery, right? Yeah, that's A little perfect. bit, turn it off. Beautiful. Amazing. What so you that? see all that smoke? Oh, that's so cool. You okay. did such a good job. Does it smell like a campfire? Absolutely. <sighs> All right. Yeah, I'm Do you nervous. think you passed? I don't die. Huh? <laughs> Beautiful. All right. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Oh. Okay, it's pretty good. It's okay? <laughs> it's good. Right. Yes. Well, there's a reason I'm not a bartender. I could definitely practice new recipes with Kathy all day, but I've got two more courses to go. So it's back to Jasper Station to board a Sundog bus, which will take me to Banff for my next course. Handmade pasta and pizza at Lupo, one of Canada's 100 best restaurants. Next up on One Perfect Meal.